Thank you very much indeed. Catch up again a bit later. Now, for the first time in nearly 40 years, the world's largest active volcano has begun erupting. Yeah, we've got some amazing pictures to show you. Uh, this started uh, about 9 o'clock yesterday morning our time. This is Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii, showing the lava lighting up the night sky. Really incredible images that we've been receiving from Hawaii over the last several hours. You can see how dramatic that looks. Well, how dangerous is it? Joining us now to talk about what's going on in more detail is Dr Jess Johnson, who is a volcano geophysicist at the University of East Anglia. Morning to you. That's my very first question. How dangerous is this and what's happened so far? Um, well, to answer your first question, um, it shouldn't be too dangerous to people's lives. Um, this type of eruption is being monitored extremely well by the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory and um, there have been restrictions put in around the areas where there are active lava flows. Um, so at the moment, um, there isn't too much risk to life. Uh, the main the main hazard at the moment is going to be uh, additional volcanic gases that might um, be irritants for people and people with existing breathing problems. It might uh, really um, bother them. Um, what has happened so far? Well, as you said, we've uh, seen that there's been an eruption. The eruption started within the caldera, which is the sort of big crater at the top of the volcano. Um, then late last night, our time, it migrated so that the vent the, where the lava was coming out of the ground was outside of the caldera. And, and that has meant that the lava flows have been flowing down the mountain. Now, at this point, they are still about 15 kilometers away from sort of main infrastructure. But um, as we've seen in the past, this volcano can produce very large lava flows and they can threaten some of the major population centers on the island. Now, Jess, you've actually worked at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, haven't you? Um, yeah. How big a moment is this for the team out there? Um, it's pretty big. Uh, you know, we've not seen this volcano erupt um, in my lifetime. And so um, obviously it's been monitored very closely. There have been clues that it's been ramping up to erupt. Um, the types of monitoring, we've seen that the, the ground is actually inflating very small. You can't see it with your eye, but it's kind of getting bigger, which indicates that there was magma accumulating under the ground. There have been lots of small earthquakes as well, uh, which tell us that the magma has been moving around, um, maybe getting ready to erupt. So it wasn't unexpected. We didn't know exactly when this was going to happen, um, but it's it's um, yeah, it's a pretty big deal in terms of the science, but it's also uh, potentially hazardous and potentially threatening for some of those major populations. So um, we'll we'll see how it unfolds. Just before we let you go, I have to ask you about the picture of your left shoulder. I believe that is yeah. a volcano related to the volcano we're talking about. It is, yes, that's actually Kilauea volcano, um, which um, had been is the longest uh, sort of continuous eruption um, in recent history. It, it started erupting in um, 1983. And um, that picture there is the lava lake, which was active between 2008 and 2018. Um, so then that, that's during the time that I was working there. Dr. Jess Johnson, thank you so much for talking to us this morning and explaining what's going on in Hawaii at the moment. Thank you.